On this episode, let's make a crossword puzzle using CF, arrays, and a little VBA. And since Halloween's coming up, we'll add a few spooky bits to it as well. Be sure to hit the website in the description to check out all the sample workbooks and code. Let's dive in a bit to the features of the crossword puzzle. And then after that, we'll take a breakdown of how it works. Here on the intro screen, there's just a little bit of tips on how to get started and making sure people enable macros because there's a tiny bit of VBA. As you select the different clues in the boxes there, you'll see the, uh, the down and across highlighting. And you can go over to down and across and highlight that, and it'll highlight back into the crossword as well. As you start to fill out answers, you want to put one letter in each cell, basically. So you can use the arrow keys to uh, go to the next one or tab if you want to go across. If you type in a wrong answer, it'll get a highlight of a red, so you know that that letter's uh, wrong. When you get the correct answer, the actual down crosses out, so the clue crosses out there, as you can see. So let's start to break down how this is built. And to do that, there's a bunch of hidden sheets. So just unhide a bunch of sheets here. You can see that these are all the down clues and what clue number they apply to. These are all the across clues and all the clues numbers that they apply to as well. That's how the conditional formatting knows what to highlight. And then we have another one here that is uh, the answers. And they all mimic the exact cell locations as the main crossword puzzle to keep the CF uh, formula simpler. And the last hidden sheet here is a table of all of the clues, the down and across, the clue number, answers as well, and what cell uh, that clue starts at. And that's important later on here. So on the main crossword, if you turn on the headers and then unhide some of the columns near the answers, you'll start to see some supporting columns there. So right next to it is the answer that we expect. And then next to that is the starting cell. And then that is a formula saying, hey, does the actual text in the crossword match the answer we're expecting. And to calculate this, we do a concat of the crossword answer based on the start cell and length of the expected answer, and then we see if they're the same. So if we push F9 on that formula, we can see it returns ghost, and that's exactly what's in one down. And so AB3 does equal the word ghost, which is what's typed in, and then it returns true. That true triggers the CF on Casper was one, and then uh, crosses it out. If we look at the across clues and unhide those columns, we'll see the same sort of setup here where we have the answer, the start cell, and the formula to support it as well. But also a couple of other things. Uh, you see there's a selected cell and a down highlight and an across highlight uh, too. And you can see as I start to click around the grid, the selected cell is changing and that is the VBA writing the address into that cell based on the selection change event for the sheet. And once we know what cell is selected, we can adjust the down highlight and the across highlight based on the intersection of the other sheets down and across numbers. Uh, for example, if A1 selected, we'll go to the down highlight sheet and look at A1 and see if there's a clue that matches that cell's down highlight, and same with the across highlight. The selected cell getting updated, uh, the VBA here is pretty simple. It's just sort of checking if we're selecting within the down clues or the across clues, and then we change the active cell based on that. Otherwise, we just set the active cell to what's actually selected in the crossword. So let's look at the CF for the down highlight here. So if I go and select uh, one down down and open up the CF manager, uh, you'll be able to see uh, the highlight across and highlight downs. And the formula here checks the highlighted across sheet and sees it matches the selected cells highlight across value in this sheet. And for highlight down, it's the same thing except it checks the highlight down sheet for the same value. And the last CF there is gonna check to see if the letter is correct, and if it's not, then it's gonna highlight it red, and then that just looks at the answer key sheet to see if the letters match. So having those supporting sheets help a lot. And with that, we're at the end of the episode. If it's interesting, give it a thumbs up. If it's incredible, give me a sub, and I'll see you in the next one.